Do you need a coach? I don't know. Do you? Let's talk about diagnosis and whether you really need a coach or not. You may, you may not. Let's take a look at it. So there's a saying that goes prescription without diagnosis equals malpractice. So if you're getting advice for what to do with your business and how to move forward with your life, but there's really has not fully been an analysis and a diagnosis, then that might be malpractice. So we need to ask a lot of questions. So do you need a coach? Well, what are your issues? What's going on in your business? Are you starting something and then stopping and then changing? Do you need to start? Do you need to stop? Do you need to change? Maybe you're not hitting your goals. Maybe you're not focused. Or maybe you want to push through to the next level. So let's talk about first a few questions that I might ask in the coaching intake process. What do you want to get out of coaching? What's your primary business goal this year? What's your primary business goal next year? Are you hitting your financial goals? How is your work-life balance? Have you been in coaching before? Describe the ideal coach. And what is your style? What is your personality type? Because there can be an amazing coach out there, but if it's not the right match with you, it may not be the right coach for you. Or maybe that's exactly what you need. Do you need someone who's like you? Or do you need someone who's not like you at all and is going to get you out of your comfort zone? Depends. There's a lot of variety. So let's talk about some things to consider if you're considering coaching. Or honestly, if you sat down and just really spent some time with these questions, your assessment, your taking the time to really think through, through, through these questions may just be the thing that helps you push through an issue and move forward. So where would you like your business to be? And what is your plan to get there? If you had no closings, how long would you last? What is your biggest obstacle? What did you do this week that you want to duplicate next week? If you could redo this month, what would you do differently? Are you on track? Will you be where you want to be in 90 days based on the way that you're conducting yourself now? What changes do you need to make immediately? Are you behaving like a $100,000 producer? Are you behaving like a $200,000 producer? Are you behaving like a full-time agent? Where did you see progress this week? What are your next steps and by what date and time will you complete them? This is just a start. These are just some of the questions that a good coach is going to dive into with you. But here's the deal. You can dive into these questions as well. I am a huge fan of not spending money on coaching if you don't need to spend money on coaching. So do you have the discipline to work through some of these issues you could add some accountability. Maybe there's another agent you know that wants to work through some of these issues as well, and you guys become accountability partners, and you start masterminding and pushing each other and holding each other accountable. That's not really coaching, but it's certainly a way to, if it's not in your budget yet, it's a way to possibly move your business forward. So why wouldn't you try that? So hopefully this helps you uh, just understand a little bit about what might go on in coaching, but Honestly, some of the things that you really can do yourself to move your business forward, wrap it up with a little accountability and let's move your business and your life and your bank account forward. How's that sound? Uh -huh.